the joy kids have with no pressure to provide or decide. The wisdom we get from the old empathizing their pains. The pressure we are dealing with to provide and decide. The pain of looking around and no one could see where the path leads. It was never this if we looking a while in motion. Not clear if it's creativity or this lazy demon's action. Who wants the soil be covered by water and shelter be made with bamboos in suspension. So I can manipulate the heavens from images I get from clear reflection. It's more than daydreaming on the mattress of nightmare. It's more than choice and the value of welfare. Flying a red flag to the bulls might never fit to be a metaphor. Telling chronicles of truth, the grill floating over sentiment. The meek shall inherit the earth. The earth shall inherit our brothers. I will give all I have. Circumstances took my left eye. Give to the world all you have with your last breath. A sight lost, a vision found. What up, people? This Bossman Incredible, aka House Boy Swag. Gang by is a lyricist. Left eye. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah, what up, people? It's your boy Rims, aka Kalaboshi, aka me. I believe in Gang Bar. It's a super lyricist. Left eye. Left eye. Yeah. Left eye. Left eye. Left eye. Left eye. Our souls get lost, our souls get spoiled But telling the truth is cause humanity's born gets stoned souls get lost, our souls get born Telling the truth is cost, humanity's born gets stoned The world is talking, 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 talking The world is talking, voices, voices and you said to me Yeah, growing up Basically, just the naivete of of Not having a, a Any outlook on life You're just there, you play you, you, you are being fed, everything is just there Handed over to you Even if you are worried about anything It could be solved in a blink of an eye There's always no worries when you're growing up It's not there's no violence in the neighborhood. I mean, it's a developing town. Jalingo, 90s, growing up, yeah. Where I grew up is in a uh, compound made of four families. And then there are a lot of kids around. We were playing a lot of times. But, I mean, after, after school, the only thing we could do then was play, play all day long. If it is football, we play. If it is flying the kite, we fly the kite. And if it is making sand houses, we do that. Hops cards, uh, the ladies do that thing by the side. And yeah, we just keep playing around. That's so much we promise and right. Yeah. So, um, I was given birth to, and here I am in a family. 
made up of seven siblings and a mom because I grew up, I don't even know my dad at all. Like, even though he was there when I was giving birth to, but no, I don't know him. I only saw photographs. And so, really, our, our family is not, it's not really where the family should be. I don't think there's a lot of significant people around to help because most of our relatives are in the villages and they didn't attend any major schools to get any better job to, to support the family as a whole. So really, it's a struggling family. We, we're finding difficulties. We're having our ups and downs. Really. We're just trying to come out of it right now. That's what we're doing, basically. Such a system so I would have walked across any thousand lands But that way I I didn't need you that night I could have need you any time Okay, um, yeah, Gangwa is the illest, he's the dopest, and, well, I don't know, he's so good that you don't have certainty to say about him, but he's just so good. Gangwa. Gallant laurel reeds on the neck and head of villains, heroes get eulogies that don't linger on the masses' mind. My life flows been with my plans and Niger. You don't want to see my eyes when society told me local J is erased from the map. From the habitat where there's pride in being the first wife in the family. Because she knows sooner or later two or three more will be added, ain't it? Joseph is on a lookout so he don't 666 his crucifix. Ibrahim is on the lookout so he don't outshine his stars and crescent. I grew up and found a dad and mommy, my mom, typical of a struggling home. Seven miles to faint for poor John Veronica had to sleep less and overcome. From the land where the filling stations are numbering cars, but still we're queuing up. Where the farmers are thinking of ways of cultivating crude oil in the farmland. He roughed all his system up. He told me he can't remember a thing about yesterday. I told him, that's your toast in 24 hours from your life away. He opened his wallet and there lies an ID and a pack of condoms to protect him. I searched the purse and found a couple of narrow notes and a makeup kit for attracting him. Nice lingo. Yeah, the society, society, man. I mean, we're dealing with a whole lot of morals out here. Like, from, from, from the family setting. Nobody wants shame, so parents always try to raise you in a manner that you represent from just between, uh, I mean, just within the circle of the family and then it extends to the society and to the world at large so that when everybody asks where are you coming from, you could be a very good ambassador. I mean, think of it, the church, the mosque, the schools, like, apart from, uh, uh, Apart from being free, we are we have strict strict rules too. There, there's strict rules because they they want to shape you in a way that to be in accordance to the religion, you the, the faith and your belief that you have. Though apart from that, the society as a whole, our perception about life is not really big, and we're not really enlightened in a way because that's the beginning of our problem we that seek to uh, pursue life with our talent the society could really bend you i mean could really bend you but in all we're growing up civilization coming in and then we're trying to catch up with life but the society we, we really have our own problems difficulties that's that's just it it's just strict because parents don't want to think about anything out of the box except just school, get a normal job, get married, and then you raise your family. That's what we're dealing with. So society, yeah, that's in general, we, we just have strict rules. Hello, hello, what up, what up, my people? I go by the name Ramiti, my dog. Uh, Gangba is a poet, Gangba is a rapper. Left eye. Okay, uh, finding music after secondary school, that was it. Because when we were kids, I mean, 
my elder brothers were playing records of Fuji's, Plantation Boys, and Jaru all over the house. All those like deep records, we, 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 we can listen to them because it's all over the place, MTV bass, like that. But I wasn't into making music then. All I wanted to do was dance. After secondary school, I visited my, my, my friend, like my folk. In, in his home and I and I spent the weekend so his elder brother had this record this this nice records of Kanye West it was it was graduation the album was graduation and boom that that was it and I listened to graduation top to bottom top to bottom top to bottom and then immediately I I was arrested you know I just felt the passion is flowing. So that is it. After listening to Kanye West in 2010, that was when when I started. Like I was feeling, I was my 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 whole phone was consumed by by the musical thing, the poetry, the sounds, and everything. I was just floating, to express through this through this music. So that's it. Like my my finding music was after secondary school, and it was because a friend of mine played uh, his elder brother's record, which is Kanye West graduation. So that's the beginning of everything. I saw the wind rising. I'm waiting on my. Yeah, so in my final year in the university, um, we moved out from my former house where I grew up and everything because it was becoming uncomfortable people were much and, and it's becoming all choked up overly populated and then there's no freedom anymore we don't feel being there and then my mom sold out the, the, the property and then we moved, we moved out from the inner part of the city of Jalingo and then to the outskirts um, it's very very hard for us to make music out here. The cost of production is cheap though, but we still need to work for that. We always wish we have our own studio to make things easy. The feelings of not having that and not making music comfortably killed my vibe actually. But Gangba kept on pushing. It made me believe you can make something out of nothing. Um, I always idolized a lot of legends in the game. But this dude is my role model. Um, wait for his mind-blowing project titled The Left Eye. So, I mean, this is where the strength lies. This, this is where the strength of everything lies. I mean, because if you don't find obstacles in life, you're not like you most likely not to excel whatever you do. I, I know you think about uh, putting the necessary things for the next generation to come and find and then work more on it. But right now it just felt as though we, 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 we were finding everything from the scratch. We're the ones digging the ground, we're the ones trying to put in the concrete, we're the ones trying to lay in these bricks and then time and time and time after we want to bring out this beautiful structure. It's really hard, you know. Everything boils down to the uh, financial aspect of it. The financial aspect of it, because you as an upcoming artist, you uh, try to teach yourself this or teach yourself that. Woo! I'm scared. Super scared. I'm scared, man. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say the truth is that when you look around, you see your peers like pushing forward in this direction, like really chasing this cool thing and then you have this balls to try and put all your eggs in one basket let it hatch let it hatch man so that's it i have super fast what if this music thing don't work out it really have to hit you no matter how no matter how crazy you get about your craft and art but just looking around the society we are like like uh the dreams is kind of far because you don't see these people that, that are successful around here. It takes a long period of time before you see them coming over here. So I have pace, what if this music thing don't work out? 
what if I won't be able to pay my bills tomorrow? What if I, I can't really wipe my mom's tears? So it has to be it still comes back to the family and the society around me. That's my fear. That I won't be able to help whether it's my friends or my family because of uh, uh, the work of life I'm, I'm putting my foot in. You understand? And But when you look at it in a different perspective, it's also uh, uh, a blessing. It's a gift and a cause because even if I, I'm afraid of these things, I still find uh, inspiration in them. Because when things go bad and then you're there, just play a song or whatever it is, it takes you, gives you more. When, when you write these pains, you write your pains in pain and paper, and then you record them. It's just like it, and you exercise these pains that is inside you that is weighing you down. You get to talk to people, and when people uh, uh, give, give you feedbacks on on the kind of records you make, I mean, it just makes you feel better and better. So, well, what what's really pushing me is because I really know deep within me, even with all these fears, that this is the thing I could do wholeheartedly. I, I, I'm never having doubt about it. Because it's, it's part of my blessing and, and talent, I feel. And I'm financing each part of the way. Hi, people, I go by the name Jax. Jax Melafia, aka the local chief. One thing I know about Kanki Ganga is he's a goal getter. And I believe uh, the left eye album will go a long way. Thank you. Flash. Light. Light. Yes, sir. What's up, what's popping, man? Flash. Yeah, we're prepping Light. for um, the album drop, Kanki Left Eye. And uh, yeah, about the, whole, about the whole album and stuff, man. It's 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 been a long long ride so far. It's been stressful. It's been um, it's been mixed feeling. It's it's been a combination of different feelings actually. Yeah, um, nostalgia and shit. Sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes it's bitter. Sometimes niggas ain't got shit to eat. Sometimes we got too much to eat. Sometimes we can't sleep. Sometimes we sleep our eyes off from too much stress yeah and uh, we, we get to split time between our day jobs and normal hustle and then keeping it real in the booth yeah so Kanki Gangba yeah relax nigga <laughs> relax nigga um, I, I met that nigga the first time I saw him he was holding a notepad and pen and I, I didn't know what he was about at first I was just like, maybe this is just another rapper, man, another average motherfucker. But after taking a peek in his ram book, I got to see some shit that I've never seen in my whole life as an artist. Like his, his, the depth of his soul, the depth of his lyrics is unreachable. Like, I can't compare it to no other artist. And he gets to give all his God for the whole grind and, and stuff and I believe man that's that's what the whole culture should be about and he 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 focuses on conscious stuff and just giving back to the community and humanity at large and being real I feel that's what hip hop is all about and my nigga is keeping it real my nigga is keeping it a hundred and I have a good feeling that at the end of this uh, project anybody who gets to listen will be blessed man beyond beyond measure and uh well that's all i got to say now because i can't process a lot from my <laughs> okay let's <Left> uh <laughs> yeah my name is emmanuel and they call me next star i call myself that too sometimes i am supposed to talk about the left eye project and i don't really have much to say just that um, this is a project that is long overdue because um, we started this process in 2014 or so and um, it is rich it's it's almost like a sermon it's, it's almost that rich it uh, electrifies what other word do people use to qualify nice albums I, I think the album is great and it is something i'm proud to have been the sole producer i did all of the tracks on it and that is 
the best we can offer so far with uh, the little resources available and you should know that his voice will not be sounding so great because in all of the process it has been indomie bread kose and what else what else those basic things how many minutes have i taken ah, yeah, i can still talk i can still talk so like i said within the process gangba learned how to record himself because most times he raps and i sleep off and he wants to write painful jokes cannot fit into the moles of a chestnut in front of you a stand-up comedian reality in my chest not I pray the laughter sent tears rolling down your cheeks I try to stay open as I cook there is a deeper part of me that I'm scared to reach home is no more peace I try to recall how many squares on my ceiling but Scary tales almost made me turn tail and I tail to the other direction. But a silent voice whispered to me, Hold on, move on, push on. In the wild, and I see the heavens, a perfect place to paint a mural. I ran a colorful cloud to the horizon with a strike of a brush and realize beauty is attached to struggles. The deluge of anger that washes all the happiness away. The clouds that create doubt in beliefs because of human action. It cost her a left eye for seven issues out of her womb to smile the slightest. It cost us bloodshed, hatred, greed and lies to make us a nation. Unfaithful is child labor, religious and political hypocrisy. As I stick my poisonous existence in the whole of history, I will be human as possible, positive as if my music could make someone out there smile. Are you there with me? Yeah, you know what, man? One thing I know about Kankin Gang Boy is that that motherfucker loves music so much and he does it and he kills it. He's a motherfucking determined nigga that if you wake him 9 p.m., 2 p.m., he gonna bust and deliver. He's full of rhymes, sweet melodies, he's a hardworking dude. And I love him because he's always himself. That's Kan King Gang Boy and this is Rapper Zen. For real, we kill it. They talk about left eye. Motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>